Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wogi, and I'm here with Zenra. Hello. And we're here with the awesome team of amazing dudes. <laughs> Our great team of Pokemon <laughs> over here at the Nuzlocke Randomizer. Oh, look at these awesome guys. We got Chase, we got Dumpster, we got Zenrod, of course, and we have Bitchless, and then we have the antithesis of Bitchless, the anti-bee. <laughs> and we're here to train, so let's get into it right away. Now, I did see someone say that um, maybe we should make the training videos, especially if I'm not going to be doing them off screen. Because <laughs> otherwise, I feel like it's too easy to be like, uh, hey, maybe you don't know if they actually did it for legit. Also, I want you to be there for this. If I, if it's just me trying oh, very like, desperately. Like if they, grind, like if you grinded for an hour. Yeah, yeah. Like crazy off screen, yeah. Yeah. I, you wouldn't know if I actually lost anyone, and based off of the complete random nature, it's actually very easy to lose someone. Or worst case scenario, I go and train for two hours, come back and say, Well, Zen, I lost half the team. It was a hell of a thing. <laughs> so we'll try I mean, we could always do the, uh, the old Ironmon rule where it's um, no battles unless it's against trainers. Oh man, that seems impossible. People have done it with a single Pokemon. But here's Moltres, by the way, but thank god he's only level 3. <laughs> uh, Anti-B's got this, no oh, problem. Oh yeah, 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 look at him, look at his. I got this! <laughs> I got this so bad. Let me Stand see him. back, everybody. He's got Signal Beam, I'm switching her out. I need to get her out of there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can take a hit from a level 3 Moltres. Prove me right, Zen. You also made it rain on him, just to add insult to injury. Crush Claw. We're fine. But yeah, we would miss out on all this... Uh, what, if I'm the only one experiencing the random Pokemon showing up, I should be able to hit it with Earthquake. Thank God. Random types. You're not protected anymore. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> yeah, bless him up. Thank you very much. And we should get Legendary EXP for that, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's level 3, so there's... It's only gonna yeah. be about so much but it's it's only so much but whatever it's better than nothing oh man so yeah just to sit tight everyone is we're gonna we're gonna make it through this i swear to god me and you me you can be here with us then as we just talk to each other yeah it's just shit happens you know yeah yeah reacting as it comes along now when it for the joke i was about to just go completely silent and see how long we could last <laughs> Just go into the with complete silence, but <laughs> I, just, I decided against it. <laughs> it would be real funny. There should be at least one. Maybe 20 episodes from now when we do, we'll just sit here in complete silence and just go, Ah, oh, damn, I got it. Oh, yeah, you did. It should be, it should be complete silence until someone dies, and then one of us just goes, Fuck! And it ends. <laughs> It immediately ends. Seinfeld ending. It just does the JoJo <laughs> tip you continued. Oh, that would be good. Alright, we'll do If that ever happens during a trading arc, you'll know because the episode will just randomly end. What, what is these I'm gonna upload a video that's only two minutes long because two minutes this two minutes, one of our Pokemon's supposed to get fucking smoked. And I'll cut away for the JoJo gag. Oh this god! A great idea. I'll remember this for next time. <laughs> oh man, level thirteen. You're getting there, Zen. I think if we can also level you up. Uh, funny enough, I think by us either destroying these Chinchuas and also destroying Moltres, we will actually have a decent time leveling up. Just because legendary EXP is still worth something, even if they're only level three, <laughs> and it's very easy. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Good. Chin Chow. Critical hit. It's okay. I think you can take it. The one bummer is that you will constantly make it rain every time you show up, though. That's just my thing. Yeah. It is your thing. It's funny that my Pokemon makes it rain while I'm building a blue deck in Magic Arena right now. <laughs> <laughs> Joining the dark side, huh? Going to control blue. Uh, no. It's called... What is it called? Delver. Ooh, okay. I, I, if, yeah, I don't it's know pretty you... cool. Like, it's it's sort. I think it's still sort of a control deck, but I, mm -hmm. I like it. It's like a kind of a tempo deck where, like, as soon as you draw into um, like an instant, your your Delver transforms. It's he's a one mana one one, but if you draw an instant, 
you can reveal it to the opponent and then transform it into a 3 2. The hit with flying, too. Cool. Yeah, to it's fair, fun. To be fair, I don't hate blue. I hate specifically Tafari. That is the person I hate the most out of blue. Okay. The the Planeswalker Tafari, if you've gone against him. I think every single version of his Planeswalker I haven't. Card. I've seen like every other Planeswalker except that really? one. Really? You're lucky. Yeah. Tafari is, especially depending on what era of Tafari you're fighting, he'll either do... He's just nothing but control. He's like, I can use my stuff to go plus, and then also I'll untap all my lands. Also, I can play sorceries as a ser as this, their instance. Also, I get an extra turn. Oh, God. And it's like, can I even fucking play? And the answer is no. You can. Yeah, you may not. <laughs> if you really want to see me getting angry at Tafari, you can look up any of the... Uh, Wookie and Vio in the arena videos where it's a series of me constantly losing the Vio. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting fucking blasted by. Yeah, yeah it's funny. Guy. It is. But in the beginning, it's not that. It's very much like, oh, let's go, both of us. And then as time goes on, it's her slowly going, I'm sorry, Wookie, but I think you lose. And I'm like, mm, I think you're right, Vio. <laughs> Perhaps I do. <laughs> Perhaps I do. A lot of fun. Um, I think the f our final record was, I think, maybe 7-2. to two. Damn. Yeah, it was a complete destruction. Uh, Vio's very also, good. Also, I'm sorry, but I think you lose is, like, the most disheartening phrase <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. Uh, I don't mean to do this to you, but I think I beat you. <laughs> it's it's the same thing that, um, that kid <laughs> says to Bandit Keith <laughs> when he beats him. <laughs> it totally is. Uh, I love Vio so much, but she was, it was a complete destruction. We also are now forced into a, what I was afraid of, which is a, uh, a mirror match. But thankfully, our anti-B, god damn it, anti-B, what are you doing? <laughs> get your shit together, anti-B. Come on, don't get confused. God damn it. <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> oh my god, I swear to god, if we lose anti-B to fucking uh, mag, <laughs> of mag -B? Never mind, okay, they're fine. Um... But yeah, I love playing Magic, but there's so many decks in Magic, which what Vio was very good at because she uh, keeps up with the game and buys stuff from it and stuff like that. Um, she knows a lot of the like degenerate stuff, and but she's also willing to play really weird decks to try and get them out at the same time. So it was always very fun to play against her, even if most of those games ended with me going, I, I guess I don't fucking have a thing to do, Vio. <laughs> I guess you win. <laughs> <clears throat> guess I'm <laughs> fucked. Yeah. Shame. Though the one time I did use my actual deck, um, I have one off screen when we did uh, magic drafts, which are always fun. Have you have you experienced a draft yet? Have you done I have that? not. I don't know enough cards to do that. Um, I don't know the cards either, but I still draft. <laughs> I just do it for the fun of it. Um, I think drafting might actually be my favorite mode in any card game. Because it's so pure of an experience. Like, ah, yes, we all have the potential to get the greatest or the absolute dirt worst. I like how we're just like, yeah, I'm just going to beat this, uh, this legendary firebird to yeah, death. Yeah. You got this. You can earthquake it. No problem. Oh, so easy. Get out of here, Moltres. The biggest thing to worry about is Magby, <laughs> because Magby will force me fight other Magbys. <laughs> and it's, oh, finally, and learn Sonic. Ooh. Sonic Boom always never misses, right? Not it's not the one that always deals twenty. Or what no, Sonic Boom deals? always deals twenty. Okay. Actually, I think that means it's Mag not B the one that never misses. I think that means Anti B can now just fight. Cause won't this just get him, Anti B? Get get him! <laughs> We're about to. It, uh, Sonic Boom very bad to fight against, but if we we're using it, I think we're perfectly fine. But that does mean we should be worried on any Magbees we find that are above level seven. <laughs> they they know Sonic Boom. Oh fuck! That yeah, that's not good. Yeah, it's a the killer move for most cases. Oh, Anti B's about to get so crazy leveled up right now. When we run into that Moltres, it's got to <laughs> get its ass completely blasted by Sonic Boom. <laughs> oh, look at this, uh -oh. Magby. You think he, It's an anti-B. Sorry, anti-B. Oh, god damn it. Wait, what type are you, ghost? <gasps> Wait, are they not the same type as each other? No, they should be. I don't know what type you are. Sonic Boom's a normal type, which is why it wouldn't hit. 
It's a ghost dragon. Oh, Magby's a right. ghost dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's going to be so sad when it loses that typing <laughs> whenever it evolves. Because that typing is actually extremely good for this era. There's not a lot of things that can beat a ghost dragon. Well, ice, but that's about it. It's immune to a lot of other stuff. And ghost. Oh, yeah. Ghost is effective against both. Psychic types too, right? No, psych does Psychic no. type hurt Dragon? All the way around. Ghost is good against Psychic. Mm, I see. In the original game, it wasn't like that because they didn't know how to code the game, right? Because it was coded like shit, correct? Yes, yes, correct. I love that <laughs> game. Absolute masterclass of, of an amazing game. Also coded terribly. Yeah, the original Pokemon is one of those games where it's like, damn, this game is a fucking testament to how even someone's worst work can be legendary. It is. It's amazing. Because this is just absolute shit show. In, in no... It really should not be understated how Pokemon should not have happened on a Game Boy. It's, it's fucking amazing that it happened on a fucking Game Boy. That they tried this extremely, like, break... It could easily break any game, the idea of being able to capture 150 different kind of creatures. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. But gro uh, is it going to be the same type? We're about to find Probably out. Probably not, right? No, it's not the same type. Oh, no. We're faster than it. I did risk Anti-B's life, but we now know that Mag Magmar is not a ghost dragon. And it also, can it's weaker than Mag-B. It is, but to be fair, I have Sonic <laughs> Boom. <laughs> There's not a lot of creatures in the world that could take down a Sonic Boom. Aw, <laughs> oh, look who came to fucking party. Alright, let's go. Aw, <laughs> oh, damn it, are you serious? Are you a ghost type? Is everything a fucking ghost type? Oh my god, this game gets ten times more annoying if everything is a ghost type. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it, uh, the first Pokemon game, I don't know how the fuck it happened. I don't know how those dudes came together and said, we have this super ambitious idea, and we're gonna put it on a Game Boy. And then Nintendo said, sure. And then they said, we're gonna take six years. And they said, go for it, my bro. <laughs> best of luck to you. And it came out with one yeah, of the... Yeah, do, do your best. Do your best. <laughs> do your fucking best. <laughs> And it worked out. And here we are, so many years later, one of the biggest cultural touchstones ever. Have you ever seen, um, I think I looked it up, I think there was a book sometime around Ruby Sapphire, um, where a book came out and said, finally the Pokemon craze is over, basically. It was like a deep book about basically saying, all right, Ruby Sapphire came out, it didn't set the world on fire, I'm here to fucking tell everyone the Pokemon fad is over, and they did an entire, like, 200 book essay about how Pokemon's over and a deep analysis of it, and I think that's one of the worst aging books in that's the world. That's fucking insane, yeah, what a, what a horrible fucking <laughs> yeah. estimate of what was going on there. I know, very few times in the business, it, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm pretty sure it was like a business guy who was like, I know, I can see the market trend, and now that the world has lost Pokemon fever, a Pikachu more like a Pika no longer here, you know what I'm saying, it's one of those dudes. <laughs> but I remember looking at that book, and then, of uh, course, it's still sold on Amazon, so you can see the reviews from very salty Pokemon fans who were like, this guy's full of shit! <laughs> <laughs> pretty good it's very similar i guess in nature to the uh like have you ever looked up the official reviewers who had to review pokemon the first movie no it's really funny because it's a bunch of people who don't understand pokemon who are movie reviewers in the 90s so they're still like in the idea of like oh yeah movies are beautiful art form you know we have to judge it on a brace criteria and stuff like that i forget that you're fucking immune to sonic boom <laughs> Um, we have to judge it on such of that and such of that, and then like everyone's like going like I don't understand the nature of this Pokemon. Everyone basically shit on it except for one reviewer, who was um Roger Ebert. It was like I don't know, it was pretty good. Silly kids movie. Oh, that's right. He was like, yeah, that's pretty neat. 
Yeah, which is funny because Roger Ebert would later on go on to have a, a large crusade trolling anyone who said, <laughs> I think he was the biggest proponent of video games aren't art before he died. I think his final words were fuck video games. The man absolutely hated them. Which is funny because that never gets brought up nowadays. He can't really. It's not fair. Though I'll bring it up. Fuck Roger Ebert. <laughs> Dude, talk shit on Shadow of the Colossus. Boom, whatever. I'm gonna still keep fucking it respect. Idiot. <laughs> yeah, idiot. Fucking idiot. idiot. Unbelievable. Permanent smile. That's the other thing. The reason I don't really want to harp on it is that he had a lot of problems in later life, which makes it very... <laughs> takes the fun out of making fun of Roger Ebert when he's dealing with yeah, so much. Yeah, uh, that's fair. So I'm like, and eh, you know what? Silently hate. Silently player hate. But yeah, I remember, I, that was a crazy time. Just because Roger Ebert... It's funny to think about it because nowadays most of the big known reviewers are like dudes who do like seven hour videos talking shit on a Marvel movie. But back in the day, um, <laughs> uh, actual reviewers were a little bit more known. So Roger Ebert actually had like a lot of like... like he was a dude you knew for having an opinion on what is art. So for him to come out and say, like, it's not art, it made a lot of people who were specifically into video games going like, well, that's bullshit, we think it's art. Uh, please tell us what games to send to Roger Ebert to show that it's art. And it's like, you guys are literally trying the impossible here. There's, it's not like you can send Parking him, like... Parking up the wrong tree here, yeah. Yeah, it's like, we'll send him Bioshock. There's no way he won't be able to... I'm like, the, he's not going to get past the frame one of Bioshock. He's not going to be able to get past anything in any game. Like, that's the biggest problem with a lot of things, is that to actually experience a lot of video games, you have to play them. You lose well, a little yeah. Bit. You can't just, like, YouTube it. No, you can. Apparently, there's a, there's a lot of Persona fans, which I learned later on as a Persona fan. There's a lot of people who apparently don't play the games, and they just watch someone else play it. Which is like, eh, that's, that's, I guess, fine. You know, busy lifestyle and all that, but I don't know. It's different. It's different from when we were children, Zen. You couldn't just say, I watched Dark someone. Times. Yeah. Oh, Celebi. We couldn't, ju we couldn't just say, you know, like, I watched a video of someone playing Sonic 2 and I think it's rad. You had to actually play Sonic 2. Or you just didn't own a Sega Genesis and you talk shit on it regardless. Yeah. That, that Back in the day, it was like, can I play it? No, it's ass. Yeah, absolutely. If I don't have jerk. the means to play this, this shit sucks. It's not on the Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo. Fucking garbage. Shoutouts to all ten Bonk owners <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> For the I don't even remember what the hell that thing. Do you remember what Bonk launched on? Do you remember the video no. game Bonk? I don't even know what Bonk is. You remember the cave boy with a big head? No. Yeah. You don't remember Bonk? I Are don't, you, dude. What the fuck is Bonk? You don't know what Bonk? Okay, now you're just me. You, you know Joe and Mac, then, right? Yes, I know Joe and Mac. Okay, now imagine Joe and Mac and make it a baby and make it a giant ass head, <laughs> and that's Bonk. Yeah, I, I looked it up. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Bonk's adventure. There you go. What was it released on? Because it was. It's a uh, console. Uh, the Game Boy. No, the, there was another one. That was a console. Uh, game. Okay, hang on. You'll find it. Bonk's Adventure, known as PC Genjin in Japan and Fantastic. PC Kid in Europe, is a scrolling platform game released in 1989 for a PC Engine or the Turbo Graphics 16. Yay. There you go, Turbo Graphics, which was almost impossible to find anyone that had a Turbo Graphics because I think it was the most expensive console at the time compared to a Sega Genesis and a Super Nintendo. But yeah, Bonk! It eventually made its way to Genesis and Super Nintendo, I think. You know what was a fantastic game from our youth? Hmm. Tomba. Tomba was pretty good. I think Tom Tomba, Tomba, Tomba slams, Tomba, dude. Tomba was a PS1 game, right? It was. Yeah, so I played Tomba later on in life. Um, I, I didn't play it until I think around the PS3 area. So back in the day, I would just look at Tomba screenshots and go, God damn it. Why aren't you on a Nintendo 64? It always looked rad as hell. I was always very... Yeah, that... Tomba is fucking slams. Yeah, Kira Toriyama did the design for those, right? Did he? 
I think so. Did it, it was someone of note did the designs for Tombo, right? You can look that up because you can see it. I'm too busy fucking destroying this Chin Chow with our anti B who has grown into a. Uh, force I of looked nature. it up. I, I see. I don't see anything about that. Really? No. Okay. I must be thinking of something else. I know Dragon Quest. Chrono but... Trigger? Are you thinking of fucking Chrono no, Trigger? No, I would know. Don't don't try and fucking <laughs> destroy me. I knew Chrono Trigger's Akira Toriyama. <laughs> I thought Tomba was made by him. <laughs> don't fucking try and come at me with this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Overheat. I'm a I was like, what ghost. the fuck are you talking about, dog? <laughs> uh, you're fucking destroyed, Magmar. You don't even deserve the sonic boom. You're going out with a signal beam. Anti B is just too strong for you to handle. Um, but yeah, I always wanted to play Tombo a whole bunch. Uh, yeah, Tombo was awesome. I love that game. Yeah. There's I so many good old PS1 games. Fucking Ape Escape goes so hard. I, I don't think I've ever played Ape Escape. I've always looked at Ape Escape. What? <laughs> Again, you ever played Ape Escape? No, I don't think I've ever played Ape Escape. Uh, Ape Escape is like the ideal kind of game for you. That was like a game. I can't believe you never played Ape Escape. I know. You think I? I've I've had this conversation. You're literally with just before. a little anime boy, and you run around the the past, uh, collecting escaped super intelligent monkeys. I know, it sounds like an amazing game. Again, during the specific, when the PS1 launched, if you did not have a PS1, then you just sadly looked at PS1 games going, damn, I want to play that. Damn, I want that, yeah. I want that oh, so God, bad. The PS1 slams. It does. There are some people who will say that the PS1 has aged badly, and I'll say right now, just because the graphics have aged, those games are still pretty good. Even playing through Final Fantasy VII uh, for the first time, because I couldn't as a kid. That game's still fun, so I don't know. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy VII, God, it's one of the best fucking video games of all time. It is, I can definitely say for sure from the little I played of it. Especially for the time, for how crazy that shit looks. I, that's why I like the print ads. If you ever look back at the print ads for Final Fantasy VII, they're great. Because it's a bunch of just like, hey, Final Fantasy VII, fucking reserve it. And then that's it. <laughs> that's all they yeah. put on, <laughs> that's all they needed to say. Old video game commercials are so funny. Have you like ever watched any of those? Yes, I have, actually. I, I love Oh my watching. god, they're I so fucking the funny. They are. Have you ever heard of The Legend of Dragoon? Yes, I have heard of The Legend of the Dragoon. One of your favorite games, isn't it? It is one of my favorite games. Mm. It has maybe the funniest fucking video game commercial, because it's so, like, not a good commercial for the game <laughs> at all. <laughs> what was it? It's, it's, it's the main hero and the main bad guy sword fighting. And the main hero cuts the bad guy's head off, and they they uh, say like cut, cut, and it zooms out, and it's like a fake movie set. And then the bad guy's like, I can't believe this, he cut my head off. Did you see that? And then the main guy goes, Ah, what a wuss. And then it goes to the Legend of Dragoon. <laughs> <laughs> no, Not at all. Like wow. the game. The only thing it's missing is that, like, that deep announcer voice who would then go, Legend of Dragoon coming out has extreme graphics. You know that dude who would always show up in the extreme trailers? Yeah, to... that guy was busy doing every single commercial for Sega. That's true. <laughs> that guy was too busy trying desperately he, to sell Sonic Shuffle. on his plate already. <laughs> 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 That's great. One of my... Have you ever seen... I think you can look... I think you can look at... I think it's for Rayman either 3 or 2... Um, it's, it has Rayman, and he's, like, pissing at a bathroom, and then all the dudes are looking at him, and he's holding his junk, and then people are saying, yeah, it's real, or something like that. It's, it's like, what does this have to do with Rayman other than he has detachable limbs, and now you're making me question, how does he pee? <laughs> it, it's, it's a Things really... Things I never wanted to ask. No, never, never in my life have I ever wanted to know how Rayman actually goes to the bathroom. <laughs> Not really a question I ever want answered. Um, but yeah, the, they were fucking crazy. I don't know what the hell they were doing. Have you ever seen that old Donkey Kong 64 commercial? That's like a minute long about Donkey Kong has gone loose. No. Yeah, it's it's like I think it's a uh, over a minute long for DK 64, and it's like there's they ha it's one of those ones where they have like an Indian um, taxi driver and they do the old like very racist accent for him where he's like he just drove my is like oh my god I can't believe this released back in the day 
He's like, you destroyed That's my funny. cab. It's like, what is? What are they even trying to sell here? That Donkey Kong is fucking loose in the pe? Because he's not. He's not. <laughs> he's trying to break the others free. <laughs> That's the actual plot of Donkey Kong 64. Uh, I also remember the Pokemon ones back in the day. Remember that fat dude who would squish all the Pokemon on a bus and commit murder? Yes, I do remember that. That he like caught all the Pokemon and pushed, put them in the bus. Yeah. And then fucking uh, it killed them. <laughs> Yes. And then that's how they got in the Game Boy, right? Yeah, and they were all like, bah, bah, bah. but I'm like, that clearly would have killed those Pokemon. <laughs> he was willing <laughs> to commit murder to catch a Pikachu. Dude, old Pokemon commercials go so hard. Yes. I actually think I liked them right before they started doing the whole, uh, um, because at a certain point they became like a big thing. So they started hyping it up like, Oh yeah, Pokemon Emerald, and it would be like kids out in the streets going like, Pokemon! And then they would all run for it and go like, oh my god, God has come forth, Pokemon Emerald is here! <laughs> and I want to say that commercial has basically been the Pokemon commercial since then. <laughs> Where it's a bunch of kids just enjoying Pokemon. But back in the day, they were f freaking hilarious. Like, uh, remember when they tried to show how the link cable works and it was like two kids from two different houses and all the Pokemon are climbing on the cable. Yes! Yeah. That's hey, good Dude, stuff. old Pokemon commercials are so fucking good. We good. We should do a video where we just look for all the old commercials. I'll make a comment. We totally should just watch old video game commercials. Like like a solid 30 minute video of us just YouTubing old video game commercials. You got it. For next for next Wednesday, remember, I will do, do that. Do you remember the old Crash the Bandicoot commercials where it was just a dude in a Crash suit? Yeah, vaguely. I vaguely remember Where, where it, there was the hole in the teeth and the dude's head was just in his teeth? Yes, yes, yes. I, I do remember those. <laughs> They're fucking insane! I Yeah, I remember them. I don't remember specifically what happens in them, but I would gladly see them again. I'll make a list. <laughs> and I'll make 30 minutes of it and it'll just be us looking at them and reacting to it. <laughs> Being like, man, what the hell is going on? If you made it this far into the video, by the way, if you have any specific commercial you want us to look at, I'll ask on Twitter, too. <laughs> if you like me and Zen are planning this, feel free to drop any commercials that are your favorite video games. I have some ones that I want to revisit and show to Zen as well. So we'll see. We'll, we'll go into what era. I want to go at least into some Do you remember PS the old Smash Brothers commercial where they're just dudes in suits beating the shit out of each other? Yes! Oh, it's such a good commercial. I love that commercial. It's <laughs> uh, so good. It is. And it, I remember it plays like a happy song. It, and then play, it just starts going like a fucking terrible me one. And you, and you and me. And that was it, yeah. I think that's a Beach Boy song, isn't it? It is. That's how you know they were fucking balling that's back the in the so day. happy together. together. And then it doesn't. I can't. No, we can't show that commercial, unfortunately, because I'll get my video demonetized by the Beach Boy. <laughs> But yeah, I remember that commercial. I love that commercial. That's what sold me on Smash Brothers. Because they were it was very simple. It's just like, oh yeah, all your favorite dudes. Yoshi's fucking throwing haymakers with Donkey Kong. Do you want to play this? And I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to play this. Are you kidding me? That sounds like amazing. There's nothing more in life that I want than this specific thing. Um, did you know that they actually filmed a wrestling event for that? Super Slam Masters really? 97, yeah, or 99 or something amazing. like that. It's apparently a... Bro, I miss the Wild Wild West days of gaming, where it was just a shit show. Yeah, I kind of miss it too. Everything is a little bit too... Like you said, not the Wild West anymore. <laughs> yeah, still... it's too homogenized now. Yeah. I want some shit... I want those old Nintendo ads where they were just like, you could fuck ladies, or you can play <laughs> Ocarina of Time. <laughs> <laughs> They're like most, most people nowadays would you still choose Ocarina of Time. <laughs> so that game slams. <laughs> Man, yeah, I kind of want that stuff back. I, I also kind of miss the Sega era of crazy shit as well. It's not the same. They're too. Now all you know Sega for is for fucking up <laughs> Sonic and releasing Yakuza games. Yeah, pretty much. Like, silently releasing some of the greatest uh, games that make them a whole shitload of money and then fucking up Hardcore Sonic. <laughs> just like, um, just not doing the greatest job of it. I don't know. It, it was a lot more fun. 
Like, do you remember when they sent in, like, a, for Donkey Kong 64 again, they sent in a video you could ask for, where it was basically just, like, a 30-minute ad of people talking about Donkey Kong? No. Where, yeah, it was like Sega was trying to break <sighs> into the um, Nintendo offices. Sega and Sony. It was like, <laughs> it, they had, like, fake names, like, Bega and Boney or something like that. <laughs> and they were, like, very clearly trying to steal Donkey Kong 64. For the amazing secrets and graphics or something like that. Anti-B, level 13, let's go! Ooh, we learned Curse. Nice. I think we're good to start training. We have to start training Bitchless. <laughs> but I'm so afraid of doing anything with Bitchless. Um, but yeah, bitchless. they're... Poor Bitchless. When Anti-B is stronger than them. Uh, what was I saying? Um... But yeah, they have, they have like this full thing. I think you can find I can find it somewhere online. It's crazy. But that was how they hyped it. And that was, I think, the same way they hyped Jet Force Gemini and stuff like that. Is that they put out like videos saying, Yo, check them out. They're really cool. And you just don't do that anymore. Nowadays it's just like, I don't know, IGN shows you a video. They play it badly and then like 500 people say like, They're playing it badly. Obviously this game is great. Find someone that can actually yeah, play it. Yeah, I love how they're like... They are bad, and it's like, I don't care. <laughs> what, I mean, what you're saying to me doesn't mean anything. No, it doesn't out. really. Also, I like that the second we switched off of Anti-B, we ran into this fucking loud. <laughs> I don't know where you came from, dude. We go away. Uh, oh, we also, have you ever, we also have to look up some Japanese commercials, too, because those are really good. Those are also like a different set of crazy from ours. Like the the anime Mario Kart commercial where it's like super well animated and it's like holy shit this looks amazing. <laughs> I would play an anime man a Mario Kart now that I've looked at this. That's yeah, a good idea for me. Gladly do that. So we started leveling you up. I think Anti B is perfectly strong now. They have a Sonic Boom. <laughs> So that makes me feel like they'll be fine for whatever we need them for, as long as we don't run into another ghost type. For a, for a bit. I mean, Sonic Boom does fall off a lot f faster than, like, Dragon Rage. Yeah, it does, for sure. But early on, makes it a little bit easier to train them. I think you're probably good to go into... Th Actually, no, the reason I'm doing here is because Moltres shows up. <laughs> Basically farming yes. Moltres. dun 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 but yeah, I do kind of miss a lot of those old Wild West days. And Alex will now explode, decided to just... Now that he sees that you're here, this is one of those dudes that yells at you for it. <laughs> for, um... I was about to say Shonen Archive, but it's not Shonen Archive. Shonen in chill. <laughs> you only spent five minutes on my manga, Zen. <laughs> Give um, more time. Preferred manga. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's been known to happen. <laughs> Talk more about Ruri Dragon. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ruri Dragon. I feel bad for that guy. Uh, what happened to him? I actually don't know. All I knew is that that was a new he, manga. Uh, he got out like four chapters, and now he's so sick, he's on indefinite hiatus. Oh, they don't know when he's going to be able to come back. I don't want to make fun of that guy. That sucks. That really does suck. Uh, it's been a bad year for manga stuff. With the, only, with the only exception is that maybe Hunter x Hunter is slowly coming back, but other than that, it's been like, oh shit, so many, so many poor overworked dudes are not, well, except for, unfortunately, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh man who was a, a horrifying tragedy that happened to him, but everyone else... Yeah, that, that was not a, that was no. not an illness thing, that was no. fucking... Just straight up tragedy. Horrible, That's horrible what? situation all around, yeah. Yeah. But in general, some bad health stuff going around. Real shame. Real shame. Really is. It also reminded me that I had to I need to catch up on stuff. At this moment, I'm only like caught up with the big ones. So it's like My Hero, Jujutsu, and Chainsaw Man, I think. I think. Yeah, I think that's all I'm kind of caught up with at the moment. Mainly because there's no way to escape Chainsaw Man with it coming back. <laughs> No, Chainsaw Man is uh, all over the place. Yes, it is. Which is hilarious if you read Chainsaw Man as it was coming out. It was not this level of hard to read of people immediately spoiling stuff. But that break in the the break in between where people had chances to read up to part one of Chainsaw Man and now they're ready for part two. There's now a large influx of people that was not there for part one. <laughs> it's 
kind of, it feels kind of nice, even if it does make it very annoying for me to actually. I have to immediately start reading instead of going onto Twitter. But it's been good so far, so I can't really complain too much. Go Zenrado, beat up this Moltres for me, my friend. Look at him. As I do, as one does, oh, beat yeah. the shit out of Moltres with an earthquake. Completely destroyed. Get out of here. I kind of want to see you evolve. That would be a good way to end of it. Good way to 16. end the train. Yeah. You'll evolve into something unless um, Mudkip evolves at 18 for some reason. No, it's 16. Okay. Who's the Pokemon that Definitely evolves at 16? 16? Is it Meganium? Is that like... No, Meganium. Ba no, ba no uh, that one's also um, 16. Is there one that goes at 18? I think so. I think it's one of them, because I remember that there's like a weird evolution. It might be Cyndaquil, because Cyndaquil evolves at level 32, isn't it? Not Cyndaquil, but uh, Quilava evolves into at level 32. Actually, no, I'm not too sure. I know there's one Pokemon that definitely evolves at level 32. I just don't remember which one. 32 is Ivysaur to Venusaur. Okay, there you go. So one of them has to be level 18, then. They're trying to learn Curse. What is up with all our fucking Pokemon trying to learn Curse? No. Only the only ones Curse. You may not. Us. You may not have your defense. No, have your speed to increase your defense. Is that what it does when it's a non-ghost type? Something like that. Either way, the answer is no. Just keep making it rain on these Magbies. You'll be safe. Hmm. I'm getting you up there, Zen. We are. We really did luck out with you knowing Earthquake. I feel like that's gonna end up. If we can keep you alive till your final form, we will be set for the entirety of the fight. And if we if we don't get unlucky and you evolve into a Pokemon that doesn't evolve again, oh well, maybe you'll evolve into a Legendary. That's also possible. Who knows? It's really random, so you could turn into any absolutely anything, Zen. Ah, uh, I guess Sky Attack. Gonna be honest, I didn't wasn't expecting the Celebi to be able to not die instantly from Earthquake. There we go. What type are you? Never mind. Where you can't I guess you're flying. Flying types take less damage from flying types, right? No. Really, no. What the hell type are you, then? Do you mean like a rock? Rock? a rock flying type? Because it's Possible. Immune. Rock resists flying. Rock does. Steel does. I feel like this might be the only ones. Oh, that lowers defense, right. This is, this is not an actual attack. Brick. Get out of there with that. Let's see. Your... Fury Cutter? Yeah, I feel like it's a rock. Hmm. Oh, great. Somehow that secret power poisoned you. Perfect. Exactly what we needed for this. <laughs> oh, and of course, you know, fucking rained it. Oh my god, fucking the celebi. I remember being angry at the celebi before. Uh, let me see if it's me and the bug type. If it's a rock type, that means that it should be instantly destroyed by um, our. No, thank God, it only does two damage, right? Yes, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo! If that was a to level 20, we would have been a little bit more scared. Meteor Mash. No, it's immune. It must be a steel type then. A steel fly. <laughs> Those exist. Right? No, is there- have they made a steel flying type in the base games already? Sorry. Oh, that's right, that's right. How could I forget? Shockwave! Not a flying type. Didn't- didn't take- I don't know what fucking type it is. It's really confusing. Let's go heal you up before you die of your poisoning. I did not expect Celebi of all the Pokemons to have a very strong typing. 
be immune to almost all our team, but we need like a fire types and stuff like that. We also need you to learn a legit water type. Yeah, it'd Actually, be nice to learn a water move to go with the rain dance. Yeah, especially since you're currently ice, so it's not like you'd get stabbed from it, but it'd be nice. That's right, you're a psychic type. <laughs> Still funny to look at. Oh, never mind, we do have a fire type. Bitchless is a fire type! You would have never have guessed it based off of Hyper Fang. A fire type with Hyper Fang. Oh, yeah. With no teeth. No, yeah, no teeth. That's why it doesn't do very much damage. It just gums the enemy until they give up. Terrible. Terrible. Fighting prowess, bitchless. Let's get back into it. Dum, bum, bum. You know, I kind of regret not having more Super Nintendo games. But at the same time, when I was a kid, I wasn't buying them. So I can't yeah, really complain. Yeah, there's only so much. much you can do, you know? Yeah. yeah Ain't really... your money. Yeah. I think I ended up getting mostly Game Boy games back in the day. Uh, I think it was... Actually, other than Pokemon, what did I have? I remember I think I had Toy Soldiers on the Game Boy. <laughs> I remember playing Toy Soldiers on the Game Boy at the very least. I remember uh, um, trying my damnedest to beat it, and it was just not happening. It was a very bad game. I actually can't remember the last, from when I was a kid, the last bad game I played. Actually, you know what? I think the most infamous bad game I ever beat as a kid was the X-Men 2 Wolverine Revenge game for the GBA. <laughs> that is a bad fucking game. Yeah. And then I did it on a live stream. Where I yelled at Common because he fucking he had the balls to say, "Are you still on this bus?" <laughs> when I was fighting Magneto, he was talking to um, I think it was uh, Lolagami at the time, and there was like they were talking I don't know some stupid thing about Dragon Ball Super about how they're not using uh, Goten, some stupid shit like that. But anyway, Common looks at me and I'm very clearly frustrated because I haven't been saying anything. And he goes, you're still on this guy? <laughs> and I fucking just went right into him. And I had to apologize. <laughs> I apologized to him after the stream. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I was so mad. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm sorry that I'm some trying to- Some things deserve to be lit up. Yeah, I, but it was it was a complete like, oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't talking about some stupid shit like fucking Goten. <laughs> some fucking gnome. <laughs> some bullshit character from Dragon Ball that's not getting the right attention. I think that stream has been lost to the- Oh, you're evolving! Perfect. But it was really funny. And he was, it's he time. Was, he was laughing along with it, so I feel a little bit better about it. Let's see. It's a Flaffy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's not even in the right VST range, I don't think. <laughs> Welcome back, Zen. I can't <laughs> believe you came back to us. <laughs> Zenrado currently with the the spirit of Zephal oh, inside of him. Dark type. Whoa, shell armor is actually really good. Ooh, blocks critical. You might actually be the better Zahal. <laughs> the, the prophecy came true. I really am the better Zahal. Perfect. Zenrado. Zahalo. <laughs> Zahalo. Your final, <laughs> your ultimate fusion. Oh my god, that that's really funny. So if you don't know, I put on random evolutions and I also made it- so There was an option to say, keep in the same type. I didn't click that because everything was random anyway, so you can literally evolve into whatever. So it's really funny that you turned into- <laughs> Flaffy, the dark type Flaffy. That's funny. And then you also have- let me see, what are your stats here? Special attack. Well, that's unfortunate because Earthquake is your main move. Yeah. We're going to have to hope that the Zahal has some sp special things in here. That's great. That's like, I can't believe you came back to it. And the funny thing is, is that I used the, for the Zahal thing, I used a, um, I used the morning thing from Yu Yu Hakusho, remember? <laughs> from. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
I used that exact photo except for I photoshopped out Yusuke and I put in <laughs> Zahal instead. So it's pretty funny that he's come back. Though in the in your body, I guess. So this is technically you. You're just in the body of Zahal at the moment. Until you evolve huh. again and then you'll enter your final form. But yeah, that's the, I think we're good for now. We will continue on at a later date. Thank you very much for watching. That was a hell of a way to end the grinding episode. <laughs> <laughs> you could not have asked for a better way of doing it. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. I'm going to start making that compilation for commercial things. So we'll have that for some other time as well. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>